Safe and easy to use, Lubrizol Sulfurzol 54 Catalyst Sulfiding Agent offers multiple options for delivery and injection. One such option is the Lubrizol Additive Injection System. Provided on loan from Lubrizol, the Sulfurzol 54 Additive Injection System is delivered directly to you. After delivery, it can be easily moved by forklift to your sulfiding site. The system, which uses spur gear Viking pumps to deliver product, is easy to install and use. While there are some small variations among the skids, all follow the same basic installation pattern. To begin, you must install piping to and from the injection system. First, locate the skid as close to the product container or tank as possible. Position the container or tank so that the liquid level is maintained above the center line of the pump. Hook the container or tank up to the inlet side of the skid. Lubrizol supplied 2 and 3 inch cam lock fittings should be used with the tank trucks and totes so that piping can be connected to the skid's fitting. After the inlet side is assembled, Move to the outlet side of the skid and connect 3 quarter inch hard pipe or tubing from the outlet to the injection point. Use pipe or tubing that is large enough to minimize pressure drop during pumping. Connect air to the skid. Lubrizol recommends that you connect to an airline no smaller than one half inch. Verify that valve BV10 is closed to the flush tank. The BV6 bypass valve must also be closed. Determine which pump will be used. Both pumps are identical. One is used as a backup. Since there is no difference in the pumps, this is the operator's choice. For this video, we will connect to pump 1. Information on connecting pump 2 is included in your manual. Regardless of which pump is used, make sure the valves on the suction and discharge sides of the unused pump are closed. Begin connecting pump 1 by opening valves BV2 and BV4. Connect a 3 quarter inch air hose upstream of valve BV11. Air pressure should be no greater than 100 PSIG. Also, check the oiler for oil level. If necessary, fill the oiler with air motor oil. At this point, you should double check to make sure that the valve on the tote or tank is open and that the Sulfurzol 54 is able to flow freely to the pump. Open BV1 and BV8. BV7 meter bypass valve should be closed. The flow meter has a batch total, accumulated total, and flow rate. Batch total indicates flow during a single use. Accumulated total is the total of all liquid measured since the meter power supply was connected. The accumulated total cannot be reset. Pressing the select key will display the batch total and accumulated total. Batch total is displayed on the upper line of the display and the flow rate is shown on the bottom line. The batch totalizer indicates flow during a single use. Now, reset the batch totalizer on the flow meter to zero. Press the clear button twice to clear the value for batch total. If the clear button was pressed accidentally, press any other key and wait 20 seconds to avoid clearing batch total. Resetting the batch total will not influence the accumulated total. This is the total of all liquid measured since the meter's power supply was connected. It cannot be manually zeroed. The totalizer will automatically turn on when fluid flow starts through the meter and will stop when fluid flow stops. Pressing and releasing the select key will show batch total and flow rate. After the batch totalizer is reset, open valve BV11 to start pump 1. Adjust the air regulator, PRV1, to obtain the desired flow rate. For low flow applications, below 3 gallons per minute, use the bypass valve BV6 as a recirculation valve. Be sure to verify that the line is open at the injection point. And then, inject the Sulfurzol 54 product as necessary. After the proper amount of Sulfurzol has been injected, you will need to shut down the operation. Begin by shutting off the BV11 air inlet valve. This will stop the operating injection pump. Be sure not to let the pump run deadheaded for any length of time. Close valve BV1 and BV8. If you plan another injection, stop here.
startup should resume with a reset of the batch totalizer on the flow meter. If permanently shutting down the injection process, close valves BV1 and BV8 and fill the flush tank with diesel fuel or fuel oil. When the flush tank is full, open valves BV10 and BV8. Turn the air on to operate the pump that was used for the injection process and flush material through the entire skid system. Leave the fill cap off to vent the tank. This operation should be repeated twice. Do not blow air through the flow meters. This may result in damage to the meters and void any warranty. Once the flushing is complete, close valves BV10 and BV8. Put the fill cap on the flush tank. Be sure to wipe down any residual sulfurzol product from external surfaces. Finally, make sure that Lubrizol supplied camlock fittings are accounted for and packed with the skid for return shipment. That's it. Simple, easy, and effective. Another reason why Sulfurzol 54 is the right choice for your pre-sulfiding needs.